All right, good evening, everyone. So, I've got a unexpected project. So my wife called me the other day while I was at work and said, we have a leak under the sink. And I've had leaks under the sink due to various reasons. And then she told me we had a leak on the garbage disposal. And there, as you probably can see, is a leak. And it is leaking. Let's see if we can get it. Underneath here. So, my only guesstimation is the unit is bad. So that means time for a new one. So I'm gonna kind of walk you through what we do here, what I'm gonna end up doing um, to replace this garbage disposal. So uh, let's get started. All right, so I went to Lowe's and purchased basically the same thing we had. We have a, uh, currently I have a half horse incinerator in there by Badger. So I'm planning to just replace it with this one. So I'm gonna, let's do the quick unboxing of it and see what the contents are. All right, so I'm gonna see if we can get this. I did open a box up there already, but, so the instructions, registration, um, got the flange and so forth that goes in the sink that it mounts to. Got the drain tube, another flange there, power wrench, and the unit itself. And from all intents and purposes, it does appear to be the exact same one, so should make install a lot easier. Um, according to the instructions on the unit, uh, if you are replacing an existing one, you can skip most of the steps, which is going to be seven and eight. We're going through all here of having to remount a flange and do all these extra wonderful fun things to it. Um, and you can pretty much skip to step 15 and 15, 16, 17, wiring it back in. You have to save the wire that they used in it, which I found kind of cheap of them to do. Um, so they go through, explain that here. If you have to cut the drain pipe, which I could use off of the other one. So it should make it fairly easy to install. So we're gonna go through that process and see how easy it really is. All right, so we're gonna transfer over here to our area of work. And we'll see if we can't set up the camera in such a way where you can pretty much see everything I do. Obviously the first thing we wanna do is Unplug the unit. You don't need any shocking experiences. Those are very easy to get. Uh, secondly, we're going to unmount this from here. But before we do that, we want to take off these screws here, unmount, separate this from this, as well as remove this uh, pipe here, which goes to the dishwasher. All right, so I went ahead and just snapped that off. I'm hoping this will pull off fairly easy, but it will not, but hopefully it will. Hopefully there's no water and surprises in there. And then we're just going to back these screws out here. I do have a new one of these if I decide I want to use it. I haven't decided yet if that's something I'm going to reuse or not. Unless we want to back this piece off here. The more you take off, the easier it'll be to take it off and loosen it up. Now this, as you can see here, my sink has got a T here. Um, it also has this the elbow, so it's 
a lot of plumbing pieces in here, so you definitely want to make sure you're careful not to break anything, not to create any more extra issues um, with your plumbing, because then you'll be here all night for sure taking this apart. All right, so now the next piece is to disconnect this um, garbage disposal from the flange. So basically, my understanding is you're going to take this tool they give you, place it in here, and then you're going to spin it and it should fall. The thing is, with this supporting, you want to make sure you don't break this or break any connections because then you won't have a sink and you'll be having to run to the plumbing store in the morning. So this is somewhat heavy, so you're going to want to make sure you're supporting it under, underneath um, as you turn that, and it's going to give it the ability to fall off, but then you still got to play with the pieces here in order to take them all out of there. All right, so real quick to let you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect. Um, I'm not sure how you can see that. Adjust the camera a little bit. There we go. I'm going to adjust this back here. And then this long shaft ends up over here. I'm going to take that off. And then that will allow this to come free. I'm going to go dump this water out. And then that will allow this to drop freely without anything in the way. Alright, so now you can see I've removed that. I went and dumped the water out of the uh, P-trap there. And we're going to... This is connected. As you can see, everything's connected. It's connected. There is nothing else connected to this. We're going to take this now see how well they say this spin off all right there you go that's very very easy now we're going to take the unit up top and work on it to remove the cord and prep the new one to install all right so i do know that you have to take this plate off right here so we're going to go ahead and do that got a towel down here in case there's any water leaking um this whole wire goes in and it needs to be disconnected from here. So it's our ground. It's gotta come off. And I'm kind of disappointed they don't give you a cord or it's wired up, but it's, I guess the way it is with appliances, stoves and everything else, they don't want to give you a cord to uh do anything with. You gotta supply all that yourself. So um Uh, this wire nut here, that's not a wire nut, but it's going to have to be disconnected, I believe. And then the new one should have its own set of wires that we have to connect um, this to. So it's going to require a little wire cutting and then re-connecting uh, to on the other end. So like I said, this is going to require, unfortunately, to cut wires, which I'm not ever a fan of. I'd rather leave everything original, but that's not the way this goes. So these three right here are the ones that come out of the machine. The ground will be fine. This one we're going to have to snip here. Makes everything shorter. This one here. That will free it up from this, from the machine itself. Now I just got to work on getting that grommet out. All right, so it took me a good five plus minutes, but... I was able to get this out. Um, as you can see, it kind of clamps in there. Clamp it around your wire. And then you just shove it down in there. And it'll hold it. Uh, which, obviously, it did a great job. Um, so, <clears throat> uh, I've got that out. And I'm going to reuse that. Uh, in the manual they give you, the instruction manual, they, you know, they don't tell you any of this until you get to this point. But that you may require a, see if we can focus here, one of these cable connectors, some wire nuts, and plumber's putty, obviously some tools, uh, which I'm not gonna need most of this, or the plumber's putty, because we're not disconnecting the flange, we're gonna use the one that's in there. So now that I've got that, we're gonna be ready to install the wires on the new one. Let's hope this process is a little easier on the new one. So, first we're going to remove this screw here. I'm not going to reuse any of the old hardware from the old one. Just 
just want to remember that this was on this way with that notch to the one side. And we have our wires. And what I did remember is that the rigid black wire here went with the white. Black goes with black, and then that's going to go to the ground. So I'm going to go get some wire strippers. I'm going to grab those so I can strip this wire down and uh, get some wire connectors. All right, so let's got the wires stripped here finally. Uh, just going to twist them together here. Um, I'll put the white with the rigid one. I go find some wire nuts. I don't know if this one looks like that one's too big, so Let's see if this orange one is yeah, that'll do it. Okay. And there hopefully is enough room for this to hide up in there with the extra wire nuts or sizes of them anyways as long as large as they are, so. Let's see if I have to see if I can use this yellow one. It might be too large, just due to yeah. So I'm gonna go see if I can find me another one. Thought I had plenty, but I can't seem to find another one. All right, so we're gonna see if we can wire these up. I don't know if I was able to cut enough of that wire off or what. That feels good. Okay, perfect. So now we're just going to unscrew this. I preferred the way they had the other one connected. Uh, much more secure, much safer, but I guess this is what you get. All right, anybody see what the mistake I made? So, I see it now. putting it together <laughs> follow all the steps all right so <laughs> first we need um, put this clamp over the wire and I have to feed the wire through here That'd make more sense if you do it right the first time well there you go lesson learned I'll make the same mistake I made. Okay. I'll pull these apart a little bit more. Cut them if I have to, but a little bit more freedom here. Alright, so once again, in this case, the rigid wire and the white wire went together. So we're going to screw these together. And we'll do solid black ones together I mean they tell you to use wire nuts so you're not not following direction but I don't know nothing should disturb it underneath there though so you should be good as far as wires coming loose but again it is a garbage disposal so it will rattle all right so now that I got ground Tightened up here. There we go. Let's we'll see if we can't get this wonderful piece to fit inside of the same spot we had on the other one, just for the sake of the wire. So I'm going to fight with this for a minute and come back once I get it in. All right, so a little convincing. I just ended up taking a hammer just to tap that plastic in there and just pinch the wire as it did the first time. That worked out just fine. I don't believe we harmed anything. So we're going to put this back on the same way we took it off. There. Screw put back in. Um, one last step in here, in case you do not have a dishwasher, this is plugged. So you have to knock that P3 
piece out in there, which you probably can't see, but there's a piece in there. I'll see if I can get some light on in a moment. So you can hook up your dishwasher so it drains into here. So we're gonna knock that piece out. Let me get a flashlight here and see if you can see. All right, you see inside there? How oh, that's blocked. Um, it's blocked right in here. And so we're going to remove that. And they simply say to take a screwdriver and a hammer and punch it out. So I'm going to do just that, see how their instructions really work. There it is. May have to fish it out and see if we can knock it out. You definitely don't want to leave that in there because that can create all kinds of damage inside the grinder. There it is, right there. So I'm just gonna make sure that I got all the got it all out. There's not a piece left in there. Okay, worked out perfect. Uh, so now we're just gonna reattach uh, the drain here, and I'm gonna make sure the other one didn't change. It doesn't look like it did, so I'll probably just use the new one. I don't think they cut it. I think they used it on its original size and format so if you take it off like I did it's not even necessary to um, take unscrew this from here because it'll hold itself in there so um, I gotta put the rubber washer right here this goes right in there to get a good seal so you don't have to unbolt this like I did if you're just gonna disconnect all the plumbing so from what I can tell, this drain is uh, was not cut down to size. If it was, I'd use the other one. But we'll go ahead and use the new one. This is probably only the second garbage disposal I've ever replaced. Um, again, my personal opinion is they should have you should make it with the cord. I think there's a lot less electrical problems you can have, but it's the way they do it. So, and then this is why other people pay someone to come and install. They don't have all the tools they need, so I'm gonna make sure that's lined up good, up and straight, up and down. Once you tighten that up, you're not gonna want to have to untighten it. Just using a flat edge screwdriver and you don't really need much more torque than that and it doesn't torque down a whole lot more than that okay now we're ready to install it back under the sink all right so let's see what we got here so if you remember this tool is what you use to put it on and take it off So we're gonna, it's got a spin to it, I see. So you kind of just start this, trying to make sure it's laying flat. Uh, so all of the pieces on there will grab. And that's it. Of course, it does help if you have everything turned in the right direction. Actually, need mine to go like this, so you can see this spins. The top uh, piece does not, so you got to put this where you want it. There we go. Now we're lined up better than we were a second ago. So make sure I don't rotate everything. All right. So from that point, we should just be able to reattach all of the plumbing and set it go. So I had to go back and get this off the other one. Oops. This on first and then this. There we go. Hopefully that can stay there for a moment. So this should all simply reline up and we'll test it and see how it works. I'm not going to tighten up all these fittings yet until I know everything is 
satisfactory. If something doesn't quite line up, they require a little cutting or something of that nature. So I think I can tell we'll be all right. Plumbing is not. Most people don't grow up and say they want to be a plumber. I would be one of those. I'm doing this because it saved myself some money. Definitely before I even run the garbage disposal, I want to make sure that all of these drain tight. I'll probably leave a towel underneath here. Just for the first little bit, make sure that if there is a problem, uh, we're good to go. Assuming I connected the wires correctly, assuming I've got the plumbing hooked up correctly, and everything is good, this should work great. So let's check for a leak first. First I'll do it on the uh, non-garbage disposal side just to make sure it's all coming down through here okay. That way I know that if something starts leaking, it's to do with this, not this. Or anything at least down this end. So far so good. As we know, those leaks can show up anytime. Let's try this side. All right, so now it's obviously gonna drain into here and then out to here. So just wanna make sure this isn't leaking, uh, that this doesn't leak. Make sure we're good to go. All right, now for the moment of truth. And that works great. Here it's nice and quiet. So, all right. Well, that's it. So that's a quick install on the Badger XL half horse garbage disposal that uh, was leaking. And this is going to be a new one. It does have a three-year warranty. But uh, hopefully I don't have to use that. Hopefully this one doesn't leak right away. So anyways, I hope this was a help to someone. And uh, if you liked it, you can always subscribe. I like to do these type of things just to help folks out. And this is uh, someone who uh, doesn't have a degree in plumbing. But I was able to do it myself. Thanks for watching.